LCRA is starting floodgate operations over in Marble Falls right now. Yeah, the floodgates are open at Max Starkey Dam. Chris Davis is out there for us live this morning. Chris, what can you tell us? Yeah, at this point, uh, what we know is that all of the floodgates here on the Max Starkey Dam are open. And I'm going to go ahead and take a step out of the way and just show you uh, this picture right away. You can see the incredible amount of water that is pouring out of the lake and headed down the river at this point. Ten different floodgates, all of them open. And there's so much power down there. You can see the water churning, throwing up all of that mist. Now, I was up here uh, the last time we saw some flooding on the Lano River just last week and uh, this is a spot where a lot of locals are coming to get a look at this themselves. They're coming up and taking pictures. We haven't seen anyone this morning but as these floodgates open this is certainly something that uh, is uh, rare enough that people want to come and see it when it does happen especially having all 10 of them open at once. Now on our drive out here from Austin uh, it was really striking. Uh, the amount of rain that we did get. It was a fairly uh, uh, light rain as we were leaving the city, and as we got closer out here, the farther we drew, uh, drove out west, the harder the rain was coming down, and you can obviously see right there uh, the result of all of that water. Now, there are a couple of houses uh, just a little bit farther down from where we are, a little bit downstream, but they are raised up on uh, some cliffs, and uh, I, I don't believe that those are in any danger at this point just based on when I was out here the last week I actually drove down there and spoke with one of the homeowners and uh, they are set up fairly uh, high up off of the bank um, so uh, I, um, I, I can't say for sure whether or not those are in a path given the amount of water that we're seeing that is draining out here uh, but it's certainly something they will have experienced in the past uh, so that's what we have uh, out here this morning we'll keep an eye on things keep an eye on the operations out here but for now, we'll go ahead and send it back to you. Chris, have you seen any of the officials from the LCRA out there this morning? We have not. Uh, we, we only uh, drove in uh, probably about 20 minutes ago. Uh, so we have not seen at this point any of those officials. There are a couple of different stations down here, of course, sure. where they uh, monitor these things. Uh, but we have not seen those officials this morning. And kind of give our viewers an idea of just how powerful this stream is. I mean, to see it on the TV screen is one thing, and it looks incredibly powerful. But to be there in person, you kind of do have to get the sense out there where you need to tell people, do not come and see it in person. because. Because, as you said, I think a lot of people do try to go and see it. I think there was one time uh, a class, when there was class in session, days after when these dams were still open, that went to go and see the power of the water rushing through the dams. Yeah, and I'm not sure if you can uh, hear it through my microphone, but there is a an audible roar that we are hearing from this uh, water. I'm actually having a little bit trouble, a uh, little bit of trouble hearing you in my ear because of the roar that we're getting. And if we zoom out just a little bit, I want to show you kind of the the bank that we're looking at here. This is pretty uh, steep, and there are signs as you go a little bit further down warning people about uh, these floodgates and the power that uh, does come when all of these are opened. And so, uh, you know, if you are coming out to see something like this, you know, you have to be very careful because uh, if you take a wrong step down a bank or something like that and uh, end up closer to the water than you want to be, you could be in some serious trouble. Yeah, we definitely do not recommend that. You stay home, and that's what the officials are saying this morning as well.